Welcome back, Hannah Parts, for another video. And today's video is my very first mask Monday. So if you want to see what I did today and see what mask I used, stay tuned. <music> So I'm so excited to let y'all know this is my very first Mask Monday. Um, I decided to join in on this because this month, since September, I'm going to be taking a break of all my makeup looks, uh, makeup collabs, to um, focus on getting ready for Halloween. So I decided to do this with um, the lovely Mary. Mary invited me, which is Mary Catherine Loves Cats. And I'm so grateful that we kind of um, she wanted to collab with me. I always wanted to. Um, and she sent me a mask, and then y'all saw the friend mail unboxing, that's what mask I'm using. And we're also going to be doing a t uh, some questions for Labor Day, so, um, hope y'all do enjoy that, and if you do want to join in on that, um, maybe, like, you know, the day of, you can film it and then post it the next day, whatever you decide to do. They're down there for y'all, you don't have to, but I'll, we'll link them down there. I might some tag some people. I could do that, and you can always film it the day after and tell you what you did um, on that day just in case you're busy. But we decided to do this for Labor Day, and um, I decided to wear red today because, you know, and a unicorn horn. So, yeah, uh, so I'm going to talk about the mask that Mary sent me. Um, it's by Chonior. I don't know if I'm saying that name right. It's like this. Is the Rainbow Pony Moisturizing Mask with plant extract for deep hydration. And that's what it looks like. Look at that. It's so cute. And you apply it to your skin um, and leave it on for 15 20 minutes. Mm, and I think that's it. So, and then once you um, move, remove it, gently massage the essence and the skin until it absorb. I love masks that do that. So, I'm going to go apply this mask. Show you what it looks like, apply the timer, and then I'll come back and start the questions. super cute i love the print it was easy to apply it doesn't really have a strong set or anything but i love the bright colors of this um mask is so cute i love it and mary thanks again for sending my way i really do appreciate it and it goes well with my other look today so and i feel like this is also you know great for kids as well because you know it has plant it just has plant extract in it and it's deeply hydrating and you know kids have a lot of fun time with these so if i can find them i'll link them i think the only link i found was a set of like five of them or something like that with different animal prints on it so oh you know um sorry this is too close to my eye um so i'll link that down below where i can find it but make sure you go get it for yourself you can find these somewhere they're, they seem like they're really good i love the there's a lot of essence in it and it seems like it's very um great for the skin and you know 
all that stuff. I don't really like, I don't like when the masks feel like drying and stuff. So, now let's get started with the questions. And before I forget, I will link Mary's channel down below just in case you want to go check out Shows of Love. If you love unboxings and Mask Mondays and all that stuff, you're really going to love her channel. She does mainly anything like on there, but mainly unboxings and Mask Mondays. But you'll really love her and tell her I sent you if you're new to her. And um, I will put the hashtag in my title. So if you do want to join in on Mask Monday, all you have to do is put the hashtag in your title. I'm not the host of this collab. I don't know who created it. But every Monday, every all the ladies go to come together and do a Mask Monday. And me and uh, Mary is going to do it together today, this week. And she invited me. Might be doing more Mask Mondays in the future. Um, maybe this month I might do another one. Depends on how um, I'm feeling and stuff. So you might see more than one Mask Monday. So if you are excited, let me know. Um, I love doing new mask, masking videos, so I'm so excited to do it on a different day. So we are excited as well. And now let's get started with the questions. So there's 10 questions to do, um, and I'll leave them all down below just in case you want to do them for yourself. So there are labor theme or labor theme, labor day um, questions as well as like fall questions. So um, I'm going to go through them. And I'll, again, I'll have a link down below for y'all. And if I do decide to tag people, you don't have to do it. I'm just it's a fun way to see other people do it. But it's up to y'all, whatever y'all want to do. And you can always take out the Labor Day theme ones and just do the other one themes um, if you don't get it on Labor Day. Um, so, yeah. The first question is, what are you doing for Labor Day? Usually what we usually do is we go to allow we stay at home. We don't really do nothing like going out or anything. That's what we usually do. Um, we love like having like hot dogs and hamburgers and stuff. Um, but it depends on like what we're doing that day. Because uh, it is during the week and you know sometimes we just sleep in and we just you know eat at home and stuff like that. But sometimes if we um, are free we usually do it the weekend before Labor Day. Um, just to celebrate it since the dance fall during the week, which is Monday. But yeah, that's what we usually do. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do this year, but we might just, you know, relax and lay around the house like normal. Uh, because it's like, um, you know, do that got day off. I don't think my mom does, but my dad does. So he's wanting to rest and, you know, relax that day. So let's get on with number two. So number two is what the weather like. Um, it hasn't cooled down any yet. Um, this might be the last week that it's going to be hot. Um, so hopefully it cools down soon since it is September. But it's been like a little bit of humidity. Uh, and I'm in North Carolina if you want to know. Um, we haven't even got no... Um, uh, rained a lot in a minute so I know we got a thunderstorm the other day but you know hopefully one day we get it cools down some and um it starts getting fall weather because I really miss it um so let's get on with number three so number three is would you rather go to a Labor Day parade or stay at home to grill stay at home to grill because I am a homebody um, and we don't really have a Labor Day parade over where, where we're at. Um, usually our parade is just for, um, it's the week of Thanksgiving, like close to, like the week of Thanksgiving is for the Christmas parade. That's the only day we have. So that's what I would say because I love growing out and I'm a homebody, so that's what I would say for that one. Number four, would you rather ride bikes or walk through an on through the autumn leaves, walk through the autumn leaves because I love that scenery. I love looking at autumn leaves. They're so beautiful. But I feel like, um, I feel like the, riding the bike, you know, you miss things. You're just riding, you know. But I'd rather walk through the autumn, autumn leaves, but that's just my preference. So, um, yeah, that's what I would say for that one. So, the next one is, would you rather... Have pumpkin spice available all year round or have it disappear altogether? Have it all year round because I love pumpkin spice anything. Um, I love 
stringing it. I love it in snacks, like in cakes and stuff. I love it in cookies. I love it. The smell of it. It's really yummy. I love the smell of it. Like recently, I just got a body wash, which was so amazing. I love anything pumpkin spice. I love pumpkin pie. So I want it available all year round. And you, some places you can get it all year round. It depends on the, um, you know, location. You can get them early, but I wish it was all year round because I love pumpkin spice. Anything, if it disappears, I'll be sad because that's one of my favorite fall scents. But let me know your thoughts. Are you a pumpkin spice lover or if you're just, um, you don't really like it? What is your favorite fall scent? Let me know down below. Uh, mine's pumpkin. My second one is, um, apple cinnamon. Ooh, that's yummy too. Um, or any bake scents because usually this time we're like, getting ready to do, you know, baking and stuff, so I really love that sense, but let me know what your thoughts down below are, so we got five more questions left, so the next one is, would you rather attend a harvest festival or an Oktoberfest party, now I don't know, that, I think the harvest festival is like, you know, the corn maze, Hay rides, stuff like that. And I think Oktoberfest would be like Halloween party. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry about that. But I'd rather go to a Halloween party because I love dressing up. But that's what it is. If it's not, that's just like, kind of like, Harvest Fest, like in a party wise. Just let me down, Emily. But that's what I interpret it as, is a Halloween party or, you know, Harvest Fest is like, you know, corn maze and hay rides and stuff like that. But I'd rather go to Halloween party because I love Halloween. It's my favorite time of year. I love fall. I love Halloween. October month is my favorite month. I love creating makeup for y'all. So that is my favorite time of year. And I love, like, when I was in school, I'd always want to do a Halloween party. Um, even though a lot of people didn't show up to them. I loved um, doing them. And uh, we would have a fun time decorating that night. And getting spooky themed foods ready. I, we just love doing that. Uh, I miss having, like, Halloween parties because, you know, it's so much fun, but I'm not really a social person, so, yeah, I'd rather have it, like, maybe outside, so it's not, like, cramped in a small, like, house and stuff, I'd rather have it outside so it's more open and stuff, and I'm not, like, feeling claustrophobic, but it's once a year, so I can handle it once a year, but I cannot have that scene every day, because I... Do have some anxiety a little bit, and I'm claustrophobic, so those two don't mix. So when I'm in a crowded place, I just feel like so claustrophobic. So that's what I would say for that one. So let's get on with number seven. Number seven is: Would you rather go to a hay on a hayride or visit a corn maze? A hayride because corn raises. I know they're fun and entertaining, but I, again, I'm claustrophobic, and the corn mazes, they're small. I went into one time, and I freaked out. I wanted to go, I was going through that fast. I was, like, running through it, because I am very claustrophobic, and I don't like small spaces. And I thought I could handle it, but I couldn't handle it. And number two, I feel like, even if it's a child one, I'm always scared that somebody's hiding there trying to jump out and scare me. Like, you know, because I try, I did, um, you know, like, scary movies like that. Or, like, Children of the Corn. I watch that movie, and I get terrified. So, I'd rather go on a hayride. Even though hayrides, some of them, they're, like, fun, and they just go around the farm. But some of them are scary. So, yeah. Or if you go to a haunted place, they, like, jump out and try to scare you. Sometimes they get on the hayride with you and ride with you. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, but that's what I would say because, you know, of that reason. So, we got three more left. So, the next one is, would you rather drink apple cider or hot cocoa? I'll say hot cocoa because I've never tried apple cider before. I don't even know if it's good, but I love hot cocoa. I love chocolate. I love hot cocoa with marshmallows. And I would have hot cocoa. And I love it so much. Even though, you know, sometimes I wait to drink hot cocoa during the winter time. Because I don't really drink it in the fall time, but in the winter time, I love it. Um, uh, I... Sometimes don't drink it in the wintertime. Sometimes wait until it snows because it's just that vibe of drinking hot cocoa and it's snowy outside. It just, I love that. And every time I drink hot cocoa, I think of my grandma because she would do that when we'd go over there. She would make some of the cold mornings for us. 
while she's drinking her coffee and it was so much fun and like you know comforting and I really miss her hot cocoa I think we know how to make it but it's you know you know your grandma makes something it tastes a little bit different than the way you make it and I really miss that um I miss her so much um so that's why I think of her when I drink hot cocoa some of the things I eat in my everyday life I think of her and I miss her so much I wish she was still here but you know things happen that way um but I know she's in a happy place with God and stuff but I just miss her here on earth and that's just my beliefs you don't have to believe that but I'm just saying so let's get on with the next one and we have two more left so the next one is would you rather go picking apples or pick out a pumpkin pick out a pumpkin because I never did pumpkin sorry I never did that before like went to a farm and picked out usually we get ours from the store um but that, would, that would be entertaining you know going out there picking your pumpkin and then coming home and carving it and you know or whatever you decide to do with it paint it or anything like that it's so much fun to do and i wish i would have did that but we usually get ours you know it's fun to get at a store and stuff so you don't have to be out you know looking for the perfect one you can just go to the store and it's way easier and stuff but that's just me i rather do and i think it's more memorable that way to do pick a pumpkin and stuff like that but that's just my thoughts on it so the last one but then I'll see how much time's left. Is what is your favorite season? And if y'all know me, y'all know it's fall. I love fall. It's my favorite time of year. I wish it was fall all the time. Um, and maybe like two months of winter. Um, but fall all year round, I really love. And I wish it could be here longer. Because I feel like it goes by really fast. And then it's winter. And I'm like, oh, I wish it was longer. Even though it's September, October, and November. And then December and January and February winter but sometimes during that November month and sometimes during October it gets so cold so it's like winter weather so those are all the questions I'll sorry about that that was a timer that was great timing so sorry um I'll leave all the information down below for this tag and Mary found all the questions so thank her for that um and go see what her answers are now this was so much fun to do thanks Mary for sending my way I really love this and if you are watching this and you want to join in with me on another Makeup Monday, Mary, or anybody else that does Makeup Monday, let me know down below in the comments. Um, and I would love to join in. Um, and if y'all know my channel, I mainly do these on Fridays. But since I have the month off on makeup, um, I'd rather do more skincare just to use up my um, mask and to prep my skin so it's more hydrating and looking better before October comes around. So, yeah, I'm going to go take this off in the next clip and tell you my thoughts on it. I will link Mary's channel down below, so make sure you go check out Share Some Love. And before I forget, I will tag some ladies. So I will tag Lori Latimer, which is my bestie here on YouTube. I will link Kimmy's, um, is it Kimmy's Happy? No. Hanging Out with Kimmy, or Kim. I will link her channel. Uh, I will link, uh... Let's see who else does. I don't know who all does Mask Monday or Mask in general. Uh, Emily D. And the last person I'll link is um, Missouri Mama. If she does skincare, I don't think she. I don't think she does. But you know, if she sees it, she might decide to do one. So those are all the ladies I link. So now let's go and take this mask off. So now it's time to take this off. This was such a fun mask. Still a lot of essence on the skin. I really like. Um, I really do enjoy this mask. I feel like it's very hydrated, wanting that strong scent, which I really do enjoy. Um, so I feel like it wouldn't give me a headache or anything. Um, I love that it has plant-based extracts in it, so it's great for the skin. It's got no chemicals that you don't know. I've never heard of this brand before. I got it from Mary, so. Let me know if you try this brand before or anything like that. And yeah, I really did enjoy it. And I just love that mask. It was so adorable. Um, I love anything anime mask. And it's unicorn thing, so it fits perfectly on my channel. And I can't wait to see Mary's video of her using it and see what her thoughts are and her questions to her tag. So y'all know. So uh, I think that's all the information I want to say on this mask. So uh, I think that's it.
So if you got this far in the video and you did and you're enjoying it so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let's say a rainbow emoji. Switch purpley with a mask. So you shout out the next video. If you want to see what I shout out in the previous video, check out the description of this video. Then go check out channels to check out. And then ladies will be down there below. Or gentlemen, if you check them out, show them some love. There will be subscribers as well as you um, YouTubers. So if they're a YouTuber, go check out their channel and tell them I sent you. And don't forget to subscribe to them. And then show them lots of love. And if they're a subscriber, find their comment here on this video in the comment section. And tell them that you're thankful for their support to the Unicorn family. So they know. And this is the way I've been doing this um, recently on my channel. I want to say thank you to all of the lovely unicorns for the support because I really do appreciate it. And the ladies I tag, um, if you do do the tag, make sure you tag me or Mary or both of us in the real video so we can go check out our show and some love. And it doesn't have to be on a mask Monday. You can wait until Face Mask Friday or uh, wait until like maybe the next day after Labor Day. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Um, and they will all be in the link down below for the questions so you have them. And I can't wait to see the ladies that do them. You don't have to do them, but if you want to, just please don't forget to tag us. And, um, I think that is it. So I always forget something. I feel like this is going to be my new thing, because I always forget something when I do these videos. I will link a playlist for, um, YouTube collabs down below, just in case you want to see any more videos, um, that I do YouTube collabs on. I was going to say a video, a playlist for Makeup Monday, I mean, Mask Mondays, but... I don't know if I'm going to do them a lot, so I'm not going to really make a playlist. But if you want to see any more Baskin videos, just check out the Face Mask Friday playlist. Um, me and Lori, which are her name is Lori Latimer. Um, I'll link her channel down below the channels to check out. We do it every Friday. We do a mask together. Um, and we uh, love doing it on uh, Fridays. But since, the free, since I said at the beginning, I do have a free this month, which is in September. I am going to do more Mondays after I figure out what these were the ones for Lori. And then... After I know the themes and what masks I'm going to do, um, I am going to pick out some masks to do for Mask Monday. So if y'all want to suggest anything, let me know in the comments. If you want to cry with me, let me know in the comments as well. Um, I could tell you like what mask I have, or you could just say a theme that we could stick together with. Or you could be generous enough to send me a mask. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. But um, I will join in the most club fun one and a new one to my channel so hopefully I see some new ladies that really love masking on here. Um I don't you know I only do these once a week or twice a week depends on what I'm doing. Um so mainly my videos are makeup really but I will doing skincare because it helps hurt my skin for makeup. It helps clear my skin if I do have acne. It helps you know relax my skin after doing a makeup look for a week. That's why I usually do it on Fridays. But I love sticking um, and doing one with Mary. I want to thank her again. I've been thinking a lot, but I really do appreciate it. And before I uh, forget anything else, please go send Mary some prayers. She fell the other day. She's fine. She just, I think she like fractured something in her shoulder. That's what the doctor said. So please go send her prayers and that you're thankful of her. And um, hopefully she, uh, you tell her that she, you're happy that she's okay. She didn't break anything, which is not, which is amazing. And she really appreciate the prayer. So please go show her prayers in the comments if you're due to her or if you're not. She really appreciate it. And now I think that's it. I don't think I missed anything. If I did miss anything that I want to talk about, just check out the description. All the information will be down there. So you know. And, oh, I think that's it. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you enjoyed seeing me um, do a make Mask Monday. And let me know if you enjoyed seeing me answer some questions while masking. I'll let you know. This was such a fun tag that uh, Mary created. And I really do appreciate it. And I love doing questions. I love getting tagged them when I do. I don't do them all, but when I can, I love doing them. So hopefully y'all join in and do one. And again, if you do it after Labor Day, you can take out the Labor Day questions and do the other ones. The other ones that are like fall related, um, so you know. Or you can say, what did you do for Labor Day? Uh, instead of, what are you doing for Labor Day? You can say what you did. Um, but you can still do the questions. I run so much fun. And you can do it anytime this week. Just make sure you tag us if you do. 
And lastly, don't forget to subscribe to our unicorn family. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload. And unicorn, always be yourself. Bye. Thank you.